Hello there. So in this video, I want to look on a chat GPT, see if it's actually worth all this hype and what it is. Because I think in some cases, misrepresentation and name is misleading as well. So let's go ahead right here and look what is up. It was developed chat GPT by OpenAI, which is a research laboratory nonprofit. And it is keeping <laughs> kind of gears going because different companies like Microsoft, Google, or individuals like Elon Musk or other things, they're um, providing funding for this company to let like, it go. And we speak about uh, open AI that develop engines like Dali, one that's the um, text to image. It's also working on you know, the video, creating text to video. And now it is the chat or text to text specific engines. So in one case, personally, I think it's called chat GPT, but I think it's a misrepresentation what it actually does, because in my mind, and again, this is personal subjective opinion, chat, it's meaning when we're just sitting and chatting about something and nothing does not, this is actually more, this is, I feel it's more AI assistant to the person than just chat. It does have some limitations, um, but it's also specifically tuned to um, some specific knowledge. Uh, what I was meaning by limitations, for example, if you say, hey, wh what is weather? And it says, I'm AI model, I'm not the weatherman for you or anything, which is actually very easy to train in access specific areas, but it, it's tell you, it does not have some real time access to the elements. However, you can go with very interesting and logical discussions with this, try to figure out the I work, for example, um, you maybe heard about this dilemma when a donkey and two stalk of the grass, and it says they're absolutely identical, which one you should select. So I tried with this and says, for example, both apples, um, two apples absolutely identical on the table, which should I choose? And uh, of course, it says both apples identical, does not matter what you choose. But I continue press on this and it says, but I need to make choice and AI refused making choice. And in some cases it was to the point actually um, when it says it is not possible to determine preference between two identical apples in the choice depend. You can see the logical it's going with computer. However, I try to even steer a little bit in different way. Um, says, well, incorrect logic apple like uh, Logically, Apple located on dominant side of the body will be more preferable due to possibilities creating less movements mistakes by taking apples. For example, if you're right handed for you, it's make more sense to grab the apple on the right side because it will be shorter link. You will be have it faster speed because it's your dominant side. If you're left handed person, probably on the left will be. It's just going from logical perspective. So I give it this information to this. Um, <clears throat> And it says it's logical, makes sense. However, ultimately, person, preference, comfort, blah, 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 all this stuff. Nice things about this, when you're going to create a logical consequence and see how it's happening, the AI does remember your conversation. Interesting things, because after I switch and I come back, continue, it's keep on going. Um, this is a logical things to see how the way AI handle and uh, sometimes come up to very ridiculous point. And if you have an actual life opponent, they probably already throw something heavy towards you to make you quiet. With AI, you have a little bit better ability to be annoying, to ask these questions, uh, trolling AI if you can, so see what's happening. But this is just one part, and this, it is a chart. This is a determining logical point on this. So what's true power become it's when you start using. So let's say if you are a programmer and you says, hey, I want to do so uh, something algorithm or you're looking. So um, you write as you normally you tell something to do. Write, uh, let's say, Angular bubble sorting. So let's see how well it is. The Angular, and this is very short. It's not very descriptive what I put it inside. I said, hey, write for me right now. Angular is a language, okay? Uh, bubble sorting, it's a classic. So, and you can see what it actually does. It's going and writing actually physical, the runnable code for me that I can run as a programmer. 
And from what I understand, the rumor says they're hiring a bunch of programmers now uh, to work on specifically codes and other things. And there you go. It's actually created code for me, right? Well, I don't necessarily say it's well created. Let's say again, this is the model. And if you know how AI work, it is work by the weight. Everything but data need be scrubbed from somewhere. And most likely in this case, it's come from the specific some book online or manual, which has come up to some questions of um, where does it take that information from? What is the source? Does it going scrub from everywhere or it is from publicly accessible? So this is nice programming and we can see it's actually developed a real, real code. So what about if I type um, none other nice things if you need to summarize if you work on some article and I have it a uh, top reasons not to smoke how about this so we're going right here and you can see it is start creating for me top reasons the nice things about this outlining and everything when it's created it is healthy when you work on specific papers or uh, videos youtube or other things you actually can summarize you can actually take text place copy paste text inside and say rework on on the specific text and that will work it's actually will create for you um summarizations of area you also can say um top 10 vacation locations so very easy this is a simple things what we're doing right now we're just asking questions and it is try to go and create it it however it does not tell me what is those locations, popular vacation destinations, how it's based or where the references. And um, hopefully someday it will says what it's based on. I also notice in some cases it is um, made up some information. So it's not necessarily going about specific person. If you ask, it is will create some um, information. But beside that, it's actually have a very interesting creative portion to this. Uh, for example, write fictional story about drunk bear on a red square in Russia. So let's see what is um, can do. So right here, for example, I says let's write about you know those um, how they say in Russia they have it. In American stereotype, you have it, the bear with balalaika walking on the red square and singing songs. But here's, there you go. We can write some fictional story about that. And if I start reading, it's actually quite a bit funny about a uh, long night of drinking with his hand. Boris, of course, the Boris Russian thing, stumble out of the forest, found himself in the middle of red square. <laughs> you know... If you ever been in Moscow to find forests close to Red Square, you don't need stumble. You need walk for hours and hours before you can stumble to this. But it's actually it's very funny. I like that story. You know what I will go do? I'll maybe even post it, that story in the blog because it's so funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that one. And speak about funny. You know, sometimes with Judge GP can just bring you fun things. Okay, let's say about best funny jokes about about AI. let's see how fast and funny they can tell about this okay so right here you can see it's actually created a joke but this is all entertainment the real physical use well a real use what is power it is it's ask questions when you work like for example on your papers for your study or you are even creating promotion like marketing or um, tagline for me for example with my English uh, what I call creative English because I'm creating it's not as I follow the rules of the English language that is actually helpful because I can give you a right description and so let's do right now actually this video about chat GPT so I can say um, write YouTube description for video about 
how to use no not how to use yeah we have it there about what hype about chat gpt okay let's right now fix some of my right description okay if i only can spell properly that will be helpful okay youtube okay chat gpt so let's see what is done and in this case you can see it actually worked very well to go ahead and write specifically elements like writing the descriptions and let's go see what this has in this video we dive into hype surround chat gpt so you know what i will do i'll copy that description and i'll put it in my video so you can also read it but you can see how it will help you to create all this necessary um information and does it hype does it actually work as uh people say i think it's have a very great potential it's have it limitations from my personal use when i try to play around it's have it very good um on creating some text prompts like for example for me john for ai art and i have a specific video about this uh released early how to do that but general i think it is good ai assistance i don't will call this chat gpt even they have a name i will call um assistant gpt maybe because it's a uh, using model gpt however um does it that great i think it is i think it's an interesting technology change i think you're going to have a lot of usability and more we will be discover uh it does not create images yet integrations i wish it was integrated also with ai art so it's kind of generated but i can see the by uh, utilizations on the computing power it's my problem you also can install this model locally and train if you need it it will have it another model and from my understanding we still using model from early 2000 what is running here and uh, we hopefully will have it new versions 5 coming out or 4 which is um will have a better model and work a little bit more intuitive what i will interesting i'll provide link for you to chat.open.ai so you can go log in and uh, see if you can logically break actually i have a couple people who logically break some of this and uh, i have another people who actually work on some of these engines and they was looking on some of those chats analyzing why it's breaking this was kind of very very funny how it's a breakdown so overall it is useful i will definitely will create more videos about practical use on specific case by case because here is the overview and what i was meaning by overview uh for example let me go over like right here how to build giant robot okay i asked give me tips how stop bar uh, your dog from barking and it's actually give me very good points and you can see you can come and ask almost so then next you have it how to generate epic landscape for ai prompt so it does create this for me tell me about disneyland galaxy edge it's tell me creating code okay it's going all of this stuff it's also again how to create some prompts how to um install or there's a kind of actually interesting about how i can install chat gpt on my local computer and it's actually give me instructions how can i do some other information it's provide all this very nice model of how i can train my model of gpt so you can see it is have a very interesting refer in some cases you actually can uh work with some subject and the power about this this is trained model so if you notice <coughs> not just train what i was saying if you see right here i have it, all these different chats open and ai will remember all the chats so if i reference some above and how i did with like apples i chat i stopped i gone back and i says hey you remember our conversation about apples yes it did remember it's come back to this so it's a the model as i working together it's creating this neural network which is actually stay consistent and persistent during all the chat is created and it's based on these different chats each of them have their own persistent uh yeah persistent weights and model created inside based on my conversation so in some cases 
what I recommend from practical, if you work on specific papers, like for example, um, gravity and time, okay? Then I will recommend create separate chart and work inside because then it will start creating model based on this interest, pull out and have it all this reference inside the chat, base it on your conversation, what is going on there. Well, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it's give you some information in short answer. Does it hype worth? Um, I think it's very powerful. It's interesting. It's of course, as any other new tools, it's overhyped, but it definitely, you should spend time to look and see and see how you can implement this technology inside your everyday work. Thank you and have a great day.